don't go throughout the week not making love i don't care how busy you can be do not do that but for a lot of men their women are the only place they can go to for connection and for love so a man's woman is often the only source of emotional completement he has in this video i will give you five reasons why you as a married woman shouldn't deprive your husband of sex or sexual energy first do me well to subscribe to this family by clicking on the subscription button and the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a video here because i try as much as possible to be consistent okay <laughs> all right i would be waiting for you to do so welcome back to my channel my name is jane lawrence and i come with a lot of juicy juicy content right here now if you've been with a man for months or even years then you have likely noticed that he needs sex a lot of it or at least regularly but what happens when you as a woman you're unable to offer it to fulfill your obligation as a wife maybe you are an exhausted new mother or an overworked and underappreciated woman it's also possible that you just don't feel like it for physical or psychological reasons of course no woman can have sex with a man every single day for the rest of her life okay we've got things to do and we have targets i mean how much pressure would that be on a woman's shoulders so at this point, you may wonder what happens when a man is sexually deprived. Do men need sex? And if they do, why? Why so often as well? Honestly, there is no easy way to strike a balance when your man needs sex a lot. <laughs> and you as a woman, you're already under so much pressure, under so much stress that his need for sex becomes one extra thing on the pile of things to do. However, even if you cannot offer your man the physical act of intimacy, it is vital that you give your man the gift of your feminine sexual energy. And what is that? It is your energy of openness. It is your energy of acceptance and love without having to have physical um, intimacy with this man. You can be sexually playful and even just give him oral sex when you feel like you can't go through with the whole shebang of having intercourse because the truth is no marriage can survive without sex or the exchange of sexual energy in a long-term relationship and at the longest duration unless you two have been together for long enough and have given enough value to each other that this can be possible due to unconditional love that has developed between both of you so if you are a woman in a relationship with a man here are two things that are very vital for you to remember. Number one, it is essential to not deprive your man of sexual activity. But two, if you cannot engage in sexual activity with your man, then there is one thing that is deeper than sex that you could offer your man, which is your feminine sexual energy. Now, I know too well that as a married woman and a mother to children, not me per se, <laughs> that it is not always easy to keep having regular sex with a man after having a family, especially if you and your husband are the only ones responsible for the children and especially if you are also breastfeeding, you're a breastfeeding nursing mother. But as a minimum, you should aim to not deprive him of your openness, your feminine sexual energy. Now, here are some five reasons why women shouldn't deprive their men of sex. Number one, because intimacy is the only difference between a friendship and a relationship. Yes, you can still establish intimacy with sexual tension and emotional attraction, but sex is just a cherry on the top. So without sexual energy in your relationship, what are you? Companions or best friends? Because <laughs> I don't understand. So if a couple doesn't have much sex or share much sexual energy and tension in that relationship, then this j just generally means that they lack passion and just maybe the love has fizzled out. Now, let me say this. If you've actually met with a person that resonates with you on all level in life, there is no such thing as losing the feeling of being in love. You just lose the state of being in love and you lose polarity all passion with your spouse and sometimes it happens 
I'm not denying the fact that it doesn't happen. But then again, I need you to have it at the back of your mind that you could totally be in love. It is totally possible that you could be in love and have passionate sex way into your old age. All right? Yes, sex is not the only way to achieve intimacy, but it is one of the main and the most important ways to achieve intimacy between a man and a woman. So not making sex or the exchange of dark and light sexual energy a priority can cause your relationship to deteriorate. The passion simply dies out. Okay? That's why I always urge you as women and as men as well not to deprive your partner of sex for more than one week. Don't go throughout the week not making love. I don't care how busy you can be. Do not do that. Now, the second reason why I urge women not to deprive their husbands of sex is because women have multiple ways to meet their connection needs. But men don't necessarily have that. Women can go to their girlfriends, a counselor, a mother, a friend, a father, a relative to just connect and talk to people. Men don't necessarily or men don't generally do this. I'm not saying that there aren't men who do call their guy friends um, for a long chat about their feelings, their problems and their sex life. But in comparison to women, men do not spend as much time or energy on this kind of connection with people. Because sex is one of the major and the most important ways through which a man gets his need of connection or love met. Of course, emotional connection is important too, but not only does emotional connection make sex better, the fact is that without it, there is no real relationship in that marriage. Without emotional connection, the relationship is just vulnerable to, see, to every single challenge that shows up outside of it. Men aren't just asking for sex because it feels good, although that's part of it too. They ask for sex because it's one of the top ways to connect and be emotionally complete. Do you get what I mean? Do you understand where I'm heading to? Sure thing, men can easily have sex with a woman without ever developing feelings. Well, with one exception, and that's when he's in love with her, all right? But if a man loves this woman, he wants to have sex with her because he loves her and wants her to be open to him. This is one of the main ways in which a man expresses his love. And it is one of the major ways in which a woman can show and prove her love for her man. Although it's by no means the only way. But for a lot of men, their women are the only place they can go to for connection and for love. So a man's woman is often the only source of emotional completement he has. Are you getting me? So we as women, we have to come to the realization that men have many challenges and responsibilities out there in the world. And so it is important that he has a woman who understands his needs and cater to them as peacefully as possible, as peacefully as she can. Of course, understanding a man's needs is not about just giving him sex. Men have many other needs too. But the issue of sex is one that many women struggle with especially if it's a long-term relationship or a lifelong relationship. It's bad enough that this modern world has been affected by the war of the sexes, which is giving women the idea that they should not prioritize a man's needs. And that includes not wanting to meet his sexual needs regularly. But however, the man is still expected to meet her needs. I think it should be mutual as long as he's a good man. As long as he is taking care of other needs of yours, you should, your priority is to make sure that he's emotionally and sexually complete in you. Because your man's needs are just as important as the needs of your children or the needs of your friends, okay? <sighs> Listen to me, a sexless marriage or a relationship without sexual energy can cause a man to become dejected and resentful. Then he wonders whether his wife ever loved him in the first place and with every rejection believe me when i say that the negative association with you as his wife becomes stronger okay so without this sexual energy inside of a relationship it causes the man and his woman to feel less alive sex makes your relationship feel alive 
all right? Now, the third reason why women should never deprive their husbands for sex is that the masculine energy is about releasing and being free. Let's talk about masculine and feminine energy for a little bit, which relates very closely to sex. The feminine energy is highly focused on releasing, while the masculine energy is highly focused on releasing and getting to a state of physical and emotional emptiness. Now, I'll say that again. The masculine energy wants to release and the feminine energy wants to fill up. So filling up is also very much about the emotional aspect of things and the feminine energy has many ways to fill up such as, you know, going for shopping, having sex, talking to girlfriends, connecting with people, talking, listening and all of that stuff. But when it comes to the masculine energy, the masculine the masculine energy's need to release and experience emptiness. Oftentimes, it is the experience of sexual ecstasy or of being desired by the woman of their choice that allows them this feeling of freedom. So what can you do as a woman if you can't offer sex? 